class. Today, we're gonna be learning anatomy of the eye. So first off, we have the sclera. It's the white part of your eye. And then we have the pupil. The pupil is the black part of the eye. And then we have the iris. The iris is the color part of the eye. My iris is brown. It might be really hard to see because I'm so Asian and my eyes are so slant. Any questions, class? Oh, uh, teacher, I got a question. Ah, yes, you dumb shit. What's your question? What would happen if someone took a fork and shoved it in their eye? Ah, yes. If you were to take fork and shove it in your eye, it would hurt really, really bad. But you have two eyes for a reason. All right, class. Now let's move on to how we can use our eyes as a coin slot. Wait, what color are my eyes, Cody? Uh, black. Racist? No, Junior, your eyes are just black. You don't Cody, I'm tired of you being racist all the time. Wait, Cody, what, what color are your eyes? Uh, hold on, let me take off my glasses. Ugh, boom, eyes of an angel. Uh, Cody, you don't have an eye color. Yeah, I know. What color is Ken's eyes? Uh, blue, which is also what he did to me last night. What, he blew you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. And uh, speaking of blowing me, I'm having a sleepover tonight. You want to come? A sleepover? Y yeah. At your house? Yeah. I don't like your parents, Cody. They're weird. Well, I, that's the thing, Junior. My parents aren't even going to be there. It's just going to be me and Ken. All alone. We need a third wheel for our tricycle so we can get rolling. I don't know, Cody. I, I don't really like sleepovers at your house. Oh, okay. Picture this, Junior. Me, up to my neck in whipped cream, and you have to find the cherry. I do like cherries. Yeah. Why don't you invite Jeffy to the sleepover? Sleepover? I want to have a sleepover. Mm, sorry, Jeffy. I was hoping it would just be me, Junior, and Ken. You know, four's a crowd, three's loud. Just have a menage a trois. I guess I'll go, Cody. Really? Oh my god, I, I didn't think you would say yes. Oh, we have to get ready, Ken. Come on. Hey, Donnie. Hey, Jeffy. How was school? It was gay. I'd rather really staple my ball sack to my leg than go back to school. Don't say that, Jeffy. Daddy, can I have a sleepover? A sleepover? Yeah. With what friends? I have friends. Name one. Um... Oh, uh, you. I'm not your friend, Jeffy. <laughs> fine, fine, Jeffy. F fine, Jeffy. Fine, Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy, fine. Fine, Jeffy. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends, Jeffy. But look, look, I'm your dad, so it doesn't really count. Like, I'm talking about a real friend. Look, if you can get one friend to come over and have a sleepover with you tonight, then I'll let you have a sleepover, okay? All right, Donnie. I just need one friend to have a sleepover with me. Where am I gonna find a friend? I wanna know. I know somebody who will always answer. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Girl, I thought I told you to get dinner ready. That sounds like a crime. Uh, I'll be right over there, ma'am. Hello? Hey there. I'm responding to a domestic disturbance call I got a little while ago, and uh, I'm here to join in. You know, throw some punches? I, I'm kidding. I'm actually just here to arrest some people. Oh. Well, that was just me. That was you? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. I, I thought somebody was really beating their wife. <laughs> Darn. All right, so yeah, that domestic disturbance call we got was a false alarm. Over. Sorry about the walkie-talkie. They make me carry this thing everywhere to let them know what's going on, but no more prank calls, okay? Okay. I just really wanted to have a sleepover. So can you? Ooh, a sleepover, huh? That sounds like fun, but sorry, kid, I can't. Crime never sleeps. All units, all units, please respond. We got a shooting at a gas station. Over, we need all units. Oh my god, it shots fired at a gas station? Uh, hold on, kid. All right, I'll be right over, and I'm, I'm bringing backup, okay? <laughs> all right, so how about that sleepover, huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. Hey, Daddy, I found a friend for the sleepover. Oh, you did? Who is it? Hey there. What? You can't say you've been beating on him. What? You think that's funny, huh? What if I started beating on you? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just here for a sleepover. Sleepover? What? Jeffy, you cannot invite a cop to a sleepover. Why, Daddy? He's my friend. He's not your friend, Jeffy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you saying cops aren't friendly? Are, are you saying I'm a dirty cop? Because I'm not a dirty cop. I took a shower this morning. No, I'm not saying you're a dirty cop. I'm just saying, Jeffy, you can't invite a cop to a sleepover because he's busy. He has a job. Like, like, don't you have duty? Uh, no, I already went. And I, I went pee-pee, too. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a cop poop joke. You, you should appreciate that. Je Jeffy, look, look, he's a really busy man, and he has, like, donuts to eat or something. Oh, oh, don't you have ravioli or something to eat, fat? 
<laughs> Fine, Jeff. If you want to have a sleepover with him, y'all can have a sleepover. But what are you going to do in your stupid sleepover? Pillow fight! Wait, pillow fight! Ow! 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 Hell Have you had enough? Look, 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 you guys are only hitting me. How about you hit each other? Uh, okay, yeah, bring it on, tough guy. Uh. Uh. Officer Guy, uh. where the hell are you? We're getting massacred out here. Please respond. Uh, uh, uh. Officer down. Uh, ouch. Uh. I'm the pillow fight champion of the world. All right, Jeff, you had your stupid pillow fight. Now what are you going to do during your sleepover? Tell scary stories. What, scary stories? I don't know any scary stories. Do you know any scary stories? Oh, yeah, I got a really good one. Okay. So this one time I was buying Cheez-Its from a vending machine, right? So I walk up to the machine, I put my $1 bill in, and I push B2, because that's the button for Cheez-Its. And I love Cheez-Its. And I'm thinking, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to enjoy this bag of Cheez-Its. And then the machine starts moving. It starts making noise. This is going to be amazing, right? And then the machine, it's pushing those Cheez-Its toward me, and I'm like, yes, come to Papa. Come to Papa. And right as it's about to drop, it gets stuck. Wait, it, it gets stuck? It gets stuck. The Cheez-Its get stuck right between the glass and the shelf. And they're not dropping, they're not moving, and my mouth goes, because I just can't believe this. So I start pounding on the machine, and I start shaking the machine. And then I remember, if the machine falls on you, you can die. So yeah, I yeah it'll, it'll crush you. Yeah, it will. So I stop shaking the machine. And then I go and I ask my buddy Joe for some money, right? And I've already asked him for money tons of times. And he says, Guy, I can't give you any more money. I, you already owe me like 300 bucks. I say, Joe, it's just a bag of Cheez-Its. You know what I'm talking about, right? Just a bag of Cheez-Its. Yeah, it's like a dollar, right? Yeah, exactly. It's just a dollar. So he says, fine. And he gives me a dollar and quarters, okay? And I'm thinking, yes, this is perfect. I needed exactly a dollar. I'm going to go back to that machine. So I walk up to the machine, and I put each of those quarters into the machine. And I'm thinking, this is going to be amazing. And then, uh, much to my surprise, the coins just drop and they fall right into the change return slot. I'm thinking, what's going on? And then I notice, I notice the machine is broken. It doesn't even have an out of order sign on it. The, the, the change is just dropping right down. It's not even accepting coins. No, it's just accepting bills. That's right. So I don't have any more bills and I can't ask Joe for any more money. It's not going to work. So I'm ready to give up, right? And I'm just walking away. And then all of a sudden, I see behind me, this kid comes up to the machine and then he puts his dollar in and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. Well, he hit B2? He hit B2 and he gets two bags of Cheez-Its. His bag of Cheez-Its and my bag of Cheez-Its that I paid for. Well, what'd the kid do? Uh, the kid, I walk back over to the kid, right? And I say, hey, kid, that's my bag of Cheez-Its. And he says, no, no, it's not. I paid for this. And I said, I, I, I don't think you understand. You see, you paid for your bag of Cheez-Its and you got my bag of Cheez-Its free because I already put my money in and it didn't give it to me. And he's not buying it. He doesn't care, right? And he's saying, you're just a grumpy old man. Go away. So I lose my temper a little bit and I start putting my hands on the kid. You know, I, I think you understand where I'm coming from, right? I'm just like, I'm grabbing the kid and I... I'm strangling him just a little bit, to be honest. And then his mom comes around the corner and she sees this, right? And she freaks out. She thinks I'm just some crazy cop abusing my power. So then I have to explain to this woman, listen, your stupid punk kid stole my bag of cheeses. Well, it's not his, they were yours. Exactly, exactly. And I'm trying to tell her that, but she's not buying it. She's just thinking I'm crazy and she's not listening to anything I'm saying, right? So she decides, she decides to call my boss. What are your boss? My boss. And so she's talking, she's like, one of your officers here is har harassing my son and trying to steal Cheez-Its from him. And so I snatch the phone away from her and I say, Chief, you know me. You know how, how much I love my Cheez-Its. Pl please tell this crazy bitch and her kid that I'm just trying to get my Cheez-Its. And he says, Guy, just leave it alone. Guy, just, just, just forget it. And I say, no. I say, no, Chief, I can't forget it. It's not even about the goddamn Cheez-Its anymore. It's about the principle of the matter. It's about the fact that this kid owes me something and he's not giving it to me. And he says, Guy, just leave right now or you're fired. So I hang up on him. And then I start to smell just a little, just a little whiff of weed on the mom, just, just a little bit. And then, and then, and then I start arresting the mom. And so then the kid goes into foster care and guess who gets two bags of Cheez-Its? Who? Me. I get two bags of Cheez-Its. Two delicious bags of Cheez-Its. And what? It's, it's delicious, right? So I go back to my car. 
and I go back in and I, I, I sit in there and I turn on some Bon Jovi and I'm, I'm singing while I'm eating the Cheez-Its. I'm singing, oh, we're halfway there. Nom, 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 no, living on a prayer. I'm, just, I'm chugging these Cheez-Its, right? I'm just downing them. I'm pouring them right down my throat. Just, ah, like a dinosaur. I'm getting crumbs in my mustache and seat and I don't even care. And then in under a minute, I've eaten the entire bag of Cheez-Its. The entire bag? The entire bag. And I start getting sad. And then I remember, I don't have to be sad. You know why? Why? Because I got another bag of Cheez-Its. So I squeeze it. I squeeze it as hard as I can until that bag pops open. And then I just, I uh, just pour them right down my mouth. I just start chugging those cheesy chips. And it's delicious. And I'm loving it. And to that day, to this day, that was the best bag of Cheez-Its I have ever had. And I always keep an extra dollar on me, just in case. So yeah, that's the scariest story I know. And I know what you're thinking. I mean, how is a story about Cheez-Its scary? But, you know, you never know what life's gonna give you. One minute you get no bags of Cheez-Its, next minute you get two bags of Cheez-Its, you're in foster care and your mom's in jail. You just never know. And you never want to get between a cop and his Cheez-Its. You know what I mean? Wow, what a crap.